Before I met Hendrickson, I'd never seen a sandhill crane. My name is uh, Mark Hendrickson. Well, my name is Mark Hansen. My name is Mark Johnson. Among these other Marks, I'm Johnson. Johnson, Hendrickson, and Hansen. We're part of a counting team for, for the crane species in particular. The crane population back in the 1930s, they were decimated, nearly extirpated from their uh, home territory. The crane count was started to monitor the populations. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, good yeah. spot, good spot. It's a designated day of the year, usually in mid-April. The count is in seven states here in the Midwest. Right now, I think Wisconsin has about 1,200 counters. Hendrickson started doing this in the late 70s. It started in 1976. I jumped on board in 1979. I, I think I might be the longest one in Wisconsin doing it. Uh, I, you know, I, I'm not going to brag about it. We're uh, asked to be out there from 5:30 until 7:30 in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Round up here at our house at uh, four o'clock in the morning, maybe a little before. It's a 20-minute drive to the parking lot. Holy cow! Here we go. And then I've got some banana. And uh, it's about a 45-minute hike back there, about a mile and a half. The birds are most active during sunrise and just after. That's why we get out there that early. Hot dog! When we start hearing, it was still pretty dark at that time. 5.58? Yeah, I'd say, yeah. Is that a single or? Uh, that was a unison. That was yeah. We're listening for uh, two types of calls. Uh, the unison call, which the male and the female do together. The second call is like a warning call. And it's if, if somebody ventures too close or if there might be a predatory animal nearby. 542 in 2017, a grand awakening, multiple unison calls. We're estimating six birds. Luckily, uh, Hendrickson keeps all the notes. Hanson and I don't have to do anything <laughs> except look good. <laughs> See him out there? There was one that sounded close, but no. I didn't know. Yeah. Okay. We hear them and help each other, you know, identify them and point out where they might be. I could oh, there's see. one there. Right over. Yeah, yeah. Two? Oh, yeah. Oh, there boy. Here we go. Yeah. It is right on cue, guys. Wow. I got lots of great bone here. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you going? Wow. Regarding my friends uh, Johnson and Hanson who take part, the first two or three years doing this, uh, I was on my own at the site, and so I mentioned to them about uh, how about coming along. They immediately uh, accepted the invitation and and have been uh, uh, vital uh, to me in, uh, in doing it and accompanying accompanying me and taking part in it. I have been doing the crane count since 1983. I've been doing the crane count since about 1980. So that's about 40 years. We don't talk about uh, why we do it or how much we like it. Well, I do it uh, for the camaraderie with the guys, and I do it because I'm interested in wildlife and nature. Mostly the tradition, watch the sunrise. It's, it's really special. It means a lot for your good friends to pick up on something like this and uh, uh, take part and be wholeheartedly interested in doing it. I'd say both Hedrickson and Hansen are among my best friends. Good couple of guys, because we, we have a lot in common. You know, there is a 
just enjoying each other's company, joking around. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't have any money. <laughs> I, got <laughs> Apple pay. I got Apple Pay. Oh, Apple Pay, that's oh. right. Okay. Now, so we're saying 26? That's, that's a great yeah. total. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, a lot more than some years. Great, yeah. yeah. We have a good time. We. We go out for breakfast afterwards usually and uh, make a good morning of it. We're people who are uh, committed uh, to the outdoors, to uh, conservation, who love uh, wild places and like getting back uh, and enjoying nature.